Konnichiwa, everybody. It's Ward, and it's time for more Yamato 2199. I did look it up, and it did, in fact, come out before Star Wars. It's uh, an original anime. It, did, it was mass, uh, based on a manga, and it came out a couple years before Star Wars, even. How influential must this have been? Like, we take this sort of story for granted these days, right? But... Back then, I mean, I'm sure there were a couple of movies before Star Wars that were kind of like epic space stuff, maybe. But really, before Star Wars, couldn't have been much, right? I'm sure this was just as groundbreaking, essentially, for anime as Evangelion was, right? Uh, anyways, let's get to it. I'll do a countdown. Three, two, one, go. I'll show the subs after a bit. I'm sure it could have inspired Star Wars a little bit, even. Space opera. So I gotta... Research that a bit. Google it. Who was first? Because I know Star Wars is inspired a bit from some other Japanese uh, movie about samurais or whatever. That, uh, f what's it called? Fortress uh, something? Where they have to go save a princess or whatever. Yeah, I'm sure uh, the original, uh, quite an important anime series, right? We have a lot to thank them for. Alright, I'll show the thing. Pluto. But yeah, of course, it's uh, terraformed a bit. Uh, Pluto doesn't really look like that right now, does it? Commander Goer. And they're speaking to him on a giant hologram? Look at this. Just like Star Wars. Imperial, huh? Our Lord. Oh, see their Lord. Does he wear a mask? I mean, was it the guy that didn't show the face up before, maybe? Or was that this old guy? Also, they call the Earth Forces uh, Terras. Terrans? Terra Forces? Yeah, they're impressed by that weapon, huh? Totally forgot to turn off the subs for a bit. Distress call. For being so far in the future, they sure have poor communication, huh? My information, I guess.
It's not his brother ship, is it? Why didn't this guy stumble? It's leaking lava? Uh, watch out to it! <laughs> Cosmonite. Is that a real thing? They call it Sedan, huh? What's he reading? He doesn't need a lot. Unnecessary calories, huh? You'd think they would ration a bit more. What's with that look, huh? Must be quite a shock to have the earth change so much in the air. Or, uh, well, I mean, from the attack to when it changed. Can't have been too long. Now they're both sailors, huh? Uh, who's that voice again? Some young characters. Are they really useful on the ship? Huh? They look like kids. Eight satellite, huh? Oh, they got robots? 
draw centuries. Gazers with water. Looks quite barren. Well, some structures are right. Uh -huh. He wasn't looking for a definition of the word. Huh. Two girls and a robot. Uh huh. Not that one. Uh huh. Sender. <laughs> Suspicious activity. Uh -huh. Are you related to any aliens? She does look like that girl. Surely they wouldn't keep it a secret if she was. What are they gonna attack on the ground, huh? So it could be the Yukikasa then? Oh, this is like the setting for a horror movie right there. Yeah. Damn. Oh, uh, he's dead? <laughs> if it wasn't obvious enough. It's just a trap, huh? I love abandoned uh, spaceships, though. Alien is one of my favorite movies. I love that creepy setting. Of course, these aliens aren't very intimidating once you see what they look like. Or Gaelesis. Galeons. Gamilas, I'll fight. 
I forgot what they were named, actually. Camelos. Yeah, they got tanks, alright. Of course, she's locked in. Can you still fire the cannons on this? We're waiting until they docked. Oh, damn. When did you have time to make a trench? Triple laser turret tanks. Pretty cool. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that ship again. Oh, was it that girl? It's totally that girl, huh? She looked so determined. There it is. With weapons this time. One shot, huh? Nah. Watch out, dude. Watch, she really thinks she can stay incognito even afterwards. She's might, she might as well respond. Oh, there's the one right that side. Like a horror movie. You just hear her scream. We're actually taking survivors. Of course, that girl is very special. Supposedly. Damn. Total robot, huh? Those robots are so uh, slender. Huh. They move very much like human style, very advanced tech. You think they were better at aiming, like, you know, robot aiming? But they're not much better than stormtroopers. And they're also not very strong. 
So now we're going to try and kill her. Because they were capturing her just a little bit to go. Oh, you can see the name of the ship. I see the spiral ship. It's snowing. He has to make sure. Is that it? I mean, it's kind of closure, right? Seeing the ship. Yeah. Oh, this is gun, huh? Uh huh. Don't they have women uh, pilots? He's keeping that gun, yeah. It's got some affection value now. The old guy almost had none, no lines this episode, huh? Oh, that's a little grave. Yeah. 24 brave souls. Gravestone on a frozen field. Pretty action filled episode, huh? That was, uh, that was cool. Exploring the icy ass, uh, Yukikasa, getting ambushed. That's all fun and all. And also, the idea of shipping those two, those two characters uh, wasn't really there until this episode, right? The moon girl. Is she really the moon girl? And there she is. Does she have... Is she actually... Does she have all the body parts that a human does? What's with that? Why do all the aliens look human, huh? What is that up with that? And also, the Galeons... Gamelans, damn it. Seem to have way more advanced tech. I mean, they mentioned it before. Uh... Of course, we've seen it with their planet-destroying bombs, which are, like, way more powerful than nukes, even. But yeah, this uh, digging scene uh, on this planet kind of reminded me of uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Did that also come out afterwards? Could this also have inspired 2001 A Space Odyssey? Maybe. Which is at the start of the movie when they're uh, excavating the moon. 
and they find some creepy shit. Yeah, I love it. Although, yeah, they weren't looking for any, anything creepy in this episode, but I do love that movie. Uh, anyways, if you enjoyed my reaction, I suggest you subscribe. And as always, there's early access available on Patreon. And I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace.